All right, so we just kind of talked about the mole, intro to the mole. Make sure you watch that video before going on to this one. Um, now we're going to start talking about the mole ratio or fractions. So we're going to start talking about fractions with these moles, and it's going to help us be able to um, solve some chemical um, problems. So we're going to be looking at this equation right here, and we're going to start writing a mole ratio for it. Um, this will help us know, like, if we have a certain amount of one substance, how much we will get out of the reaction. Or if we get this much out of the reaction, how much did we start with? Those kind of things will be able to answer questions like that. Um, but let's get into it. It'll make more sense as we go. Um, so again, we're going to be using this equation up here. Okay, so look at that equation. That's what we're going to be using. Um, and so we're going to make a fraction or a ratio that's going to compare. Um, we're going to be comparing... H2O and O2. All right, so I want to get a ratio or a fraction that compares H2O and O2. So how I would do that is um, you could write it either way. We're going to write it both ways on your homework. Um, so the first fraction that we could make to compare H2O and O2 is we could say when we have two moles of H2O, remember I can always shorten the word moles to M-O-L, we have two moles of H2O, we're going to have how many moles of O2? So think through it in your head for a second. You'll notice when we have two moles of H2O, we want to know how many moles of O2 we have. So hopefully you're able to kind of figure that out. When we have two moles of H2O, we are going to be having one mole of O2. Now you could write this fraction in this way, or you could write it the reverse way when we have one mole of O2, we have two moles of H2O. All right, either one of these ways will um, work. It'll just depend on what problem. So later on, we'll figure out how to decide which fraction to use in your problem. But just for right now, um, and for the top half of the homework, you're going to just be writing these for different problems. All right, so let's look at another one um, to kind of get a more practice. So again, on your test, I don't know, what, or on the homework, I'm not sure exactly what the wording is, but the top part of the pre um, problems will probably be asking you to give like the mole fraction or mole ratio um, for, let's say, I'll give you another problem down below, MG and AGCL3. All right, say I give you that problem um, and I give you this equation down below to do it. 2AG plus 3MGCL2 goes to 3MG plus 2AGCL3. All right, say I gave you that equation and I asked you to give me the mole ratio for MG and AGCL3. So remember, we can write two different ones. Um, so for the first one, let's put MG on top. So we're going to say when we have three moles of MG... So think in your head, how many moles of AgCl3 will I have? Maybe pause the video if you're still writing down the equation. But when you have three moles of Mg, we're going to always get out two moles of AgCl3. All right, also the reverse is true. Um, so if we had the other mole ratio, we could have two moles of AgCl3, and we'll have three moles of Mg. All right, so right now we're basically just being able to look at these problems and figure out that these big numbers mean the moles and put them in a fraction. That's the first part of your homework. Hopefully you feel comfortable with that. If not, shoot me an email. We can talk about it some more. Um, I can upload another, another video if that is needed.